You just don't get it. I could starve Earth from some alien attack I could pretend my life had meaning. Meaningless objects can't give meaning or purpose to other meaningless objects. Meaning and purpose. Ha <laughs> ha. It would only be in your head, just like a god. It doesn't exist. There is no free will love purpose meaning or reason to live. I guess when I think about it, you're right. Love is just a result of hormones in our brains, and all other actions are determined by our brain. I guess everything is meaningless. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best guy ever, leader of a tribe called Quest. Uh, welcome to the podcast with Digibro. Hey, I believe in nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, ben Saint is here. Uh, why Why even bother introducing me? It's not going to matter. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Months. Speaking of which, Munchie wears tiny hats. I'm wandering through the savannah and I'm losing all hope. Wait, is that a vessel of HIV positive? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Uh, and 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 hypocrite. And hypocrite. Uh, I you know I have a Patreon, but it just doesn't matter. It, but it'd be, it would be nice. It would be nice if some coins fell in. You know, it's it's pointless overall. We're all gonna die in the universe. And, but you know, Patreon.com slash my wrists. Ple- <laughs> Ple- yeah, that's, that's the one. That's Pledge the me one. one measly Bitcoin per month on Patreon. Yeah. And a Bitcoin's uh, worth like sixty-seven dollars or something. Dude, it's, I thought it was yeah. worth like hundreds. You can't, you can't buy maybe, a maybe soda with a maybe Bitcoin. You can only buy a car or maybe a, a HIV positive <laughs> blood vessel in the Sahara Desert. Oh, this I like where this meme is going. HIV. <laughs> oh, what uh, a good day. meme! I okay. like HIV. So, so never everybody. heard that one before. Let's get right down to it. We're talking about how uh, nihilism. Nothing matters. Nothing mm-hmm. matters. And, I'm just gonna uh, to, go. I'm just gonna go mm-hmm. right out on record and say that it's true, and there's well, no room for argument on this. Disca- wait, on this. Topic. Well, okay. No, Ben. Okay. I don't know what nihilism is. Nate, is there any way you can <laughs> ma- have me know what nihilism is? I didn't prepare right, this podcast I'm, at all. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing my chakra nodes at <laughs> such high speed together to to elicit uh, a, an answer from the cosmos, and I'm getting something from. From, from urbandictionary.com slash go. <laughs> it's uh, nihilism. Definition. It's useless to define it. Oh, they oh, got it. Oh, oh, okay. oh what, 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 what a that. good one. There's a, there's there's a really has long, really gotten me. I know. There, there's a really long one, but I'll, I'll just read like the beginning of it. Uh, okay, nihilism. A philosophy based on extreme skepticism in its most basic form before it was clouded by... Oh, God. Fuck this. Uh, <laughs> Does this say something yeah, about Rick and Morty fans going, in there? That was no, going downhill. You have to have a before, pretty high IQ to be a nihilist. I'm just it says saying. in parentheses, before it was clouded by ideas involving politics, social rhetoric, sex, drugs, rock and roll, etc. Oh, God, my fuck this God. Guy. All right, all right. What which can ref- I which hate we can urban. refer to as... Epistemological nihilism. Okay, that's fair because so, epistemological no, no, no. existence. Well, well, that's bullshit because now he's defining nihilism as just one kind of nihilism. What about the other kinds? Well, well okay. It, the, the next part what is about just, the it simply denies nihilism. the possibility of knowledge of truth, which okay. I think is relatively succinct. In the, okay, all right, sure. The, yeah, the Catholic okay. Church has really gone downhill ever since Pope Urban made his own dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Hey, hey, before we get into any of the discussion, we, we should probably have like a blanket statement for like. Hmm. What each of us are like, like there's okay. optimist, there's realist, there's like pragmatist, there's dentist, there's abolitionist, there's Marxist, <laughs> or even the dreaded uh-huh. Beetlejuice,tis which is a spiritual anomaly <laughs> trained in the uh, dark arts of spookrati and ghoul jitsu. Uh, I'm a dentist okay. in that I will put dents in your fucking skull, bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> That's <laughs> sick. What's up, Ben? What, what are you? How would you define I guess, yourself? I guess I guess I'm a nihilist. I guess I'm a nihilist, and I believe in nothing, and I'm real <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, you could say I'm a nihilist. I'm, I'm, like I'm vaping. I'm vaping and tilting my fedora <laughs> and in my in my sick flame print Hawaiian shirt my over fedora, here. Fedora ben, tipping ben, is for I, atheists. Us proud nihilists are more uh, of the cluster punk variety. The, we me, we oh, don't sure, believe sure. in fashion or let anything. Me, let me let me tell matter. you let me tell you how much of a nihilist I am. I was mm-hmm. I was torn 
torn. I was torn on, you know, you can be a religious guy and that sucks. And you can be an mm-hmm. atheist and that, and that sucks too. Because like as spirit science teaches us, you don't pick just one. You can't pick being right. an atheist yeah, or yeah, being yeah. religious. Don't restrict <laughs> yourself. These are just boxes of belief and you're not supposed to be limited to one. So, 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 so yeah. So, so, but then, but then there's the, there's the middle ground. There's the like, oh, well, who, who fucking knows? Um, the being agnostic, but that wasn't good enough for me. I needed to go one step further. So I dig a little, I, d- I dug a little deeping and I, uh, I discovered something that's even more nihilistic than both of those, than all three of those, which is a theological non-cognitivist, which oh. is what I am. Whoa. Which, Wait, uh, hang on. Yeah, well, it, 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 what? Okay, define that. Okay, define well, a theolo- okay, okay. Mm-hmm. It, okay, agnosticism says that we cannot know for sure whether right. there is a God or not. Theolog- I was say, that's right. Theological non-cognitivism is the statement that the, the question of whether or not God exists is ill-formed and does not have any meaning. The, the okay. The, the, the concept okay. of God is ill-defined in language to the point that even asking the question of whether he exists is not actually asking anything at all, and therefore there is no question. That. Yeah, Well, I'm, I'm with I, you on there. Yeah. I would just... Uh, that's, I, I mean, the, I no, would... that's the level of nihilism you all are dealing with right here. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I would just, like, it depends on what version of God you mean, I guess. Like, some people believe it's, like, well, a yeah, literal yeah, entity. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess you would... God? You would... <laughs> You would yeah, have to, I, I you know, would, you would, like, you would have to rigorously define your terms in order to ask right, the question okay, in okay. the first place. But, but the point is that it's not well defined on a broad enough level. Oh um, boy, I'm, I'm reading the definition of nihilism on Wikipedia and getting so excited. See, <laughs> see, there's, there's, there's different types. There's existential nihilism means that life mm-hmm. is without objective meaning, purpose, or intrinsic right. value. Obvious. True. Obviously true. true. Of course. Yeah, moral nihilists assert that there is no inherent morality and accepted moral values are abstractly contrived. Even Definitely, even more obvious. Even true. more obvious. But this um, is my favorite. Nihilism may also take epistemological, ontological, or metaphysical forms, meaning respectively that in some aspect, knowledge is not possible or reality yep. does not actually exist. Hell yeah. For, the first one is oh, true. That's the real, also, that's the core nihilism. The second one is not true. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, okay, we'll see. Uh, um, incidentally, I would define my, I, a, a we'll lot of those. See just if reality are easily does or doesn't exist. Hey, everyone! I just, we'll see. I just, I just, I just solved existence. I just solved the oh riddle my. of existence right here for you. I laid oh, it so, all out. Oh, there's so. the answer because I just picked which which nihilisms are true and which nihilisms are false. And there's no room oh, for right. there's no room for yeah. debate. And uh, <laughs> I, dude, my favorite thing about this is that the little box on the side on Wikipedia is part of a series on certainty. <laughs> I just, something about seeing these, belief, these incredibly depth, large concepts like just mm-hmm. thrown yeah. around you know uh, I love it I'm, an, okay, well, I'm, a, I'm a label nihilist in that I don't believe labels are important and I don't care to know what they mean so I will just but make one up. How will you? How will you tell uh, uh, your fluffer nutter from your mayonnaise without these labels? You're you're fucked. You're fucked. I just when look at them a, and then I see. <laughs> when you're a young restaurant tier and you don't label your fucking foods, you're gonna go belly up quick before that little yeah. brr, Scottish boy comes in and he slaps <laughs> you by the ear. Well, here he uh, I, I would def- I, when I was younger, I used to define myself as a hedonist, and I still do to some <laughs> degree. Uh, which is a hedonist is just one who uh, believes that like goes, the, the, the the purpose of yeah exactly the, it, sort of because like the purpose of life is defined by like obtaining like pleasure and like positive affirmation in this mm-hmm. world, and I still to a large extent think that's true because the only the only concrete system we have to operate along is like positive and negative feedback as perceived by our brain. So in a sense, I still sort of agree with that. But I would call myself sort of like a pragmatic hedonist. And of course, Jesus nihilist Christ. is... is uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the funny I'm thing upset. about... The funny thing about mm-hmm. all these terms is that like, whether or not they contradict each other is so is so vague. Because like, I yeah. would say, like the, the idea that there's no objective moral mm-hmm. value, it's like... That seems obvious, but at the same time, it's very easy to find and describe a, like, functional mm-hmm. moral value. Like, yeah. to yep. me, morality is obviously, like, anything that brings life is good and brings death is bad. Like, yeah, that's, but then, of course, cancer moral. is I mean, technically sure, life, sure, so you got to account for Sure, that most too. people well, would no. agree with that, but that doesn't make it objective right. in, any, in any sense. Uh, Nate, right, cancer right. Is, is literally, like, just mutants, and it's... And it's, it's yeah, 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 but, you and know, I it, don't it's like X-Men. more alive. Cells are alive. I don't well, I guess, like X-Men. I think X-Men it, should if, die. If something <laughs> promotes death or Mar- the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then it's objectively bad. In my I guess, moral code. I guess to, yes. ask, uh, to, to ask Nate about his uh, pra- pragmatic hedonism, mm. do you think mm. that it is in any way contradictory of being nihilistic? Like, do you think that there is 
inherently value mm-hmm. in being hedonistic, or do you think it's more like you appreciate that in mm. this? But uh, but it doesn't inherently have well, meaning. I, I'm sort of jacking myself a li- off a little bit by using a term like like pragmatic Excellent. hedonism. Tell, we like know, other, we know, right? The other, Dude, uh, by this the way, whole this whole thing, this whole thing is fucking up. jack us off with big yeah. fancy words to make ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah and like, the fact like, that we're like, even like, using these, it's it, it, it's yeah. really conf- an- annoying me because like saying, <laughs> oh yeah, this has no meaning. Nothing has meaning. But um, well, there you go. But, that's but, that's but, nihilism. But yeah, but like, there's no different. Like. Nothing, everything is, we ascribe things to everything. There is nothing right, inherent. Right. Inherency doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. That's, that's I, nihilism, Hippo. Well, yes, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, I know I know that we're it's all nihilism, on board with but that. the fact that there's so many different types is like, it's it's I like know, no shit, no shit yeah. that there's <laughs> what, what, what that, that brand doesn't of have nothing do you inherency want? What, what in various different of, aspects of, of the but, universe. But, but uh, to 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 answer Digi's question though, so like I the, the actual definition I think that's just like makes more sense is it's actually like this whatever pragmatic hedonism is just basically humanism. So it's yeah. like is human like what is the is does that conflict with nihilism? And I would argue absolutely not because. My, my approach uh, stems all from, uh, at least, you know, I think people try to say this. I try to start with what seems to be the truth and then try to, from that foundation of things that, as far as I can tell, are true, mm-hmm. try to get to, like, the, the philosophy that seems like it'll most now, when you say get true, things the way I want them to go. You mean true, like, mm-hmm. observable truth. Not like a, because there is no other kind that we have. Right, there is know? no. All we have is object. There is no truth with a capital T. Fucking observable truth is as good as truth. So yeah, I, don't see I, why I, I completely agree you know with thing, you. You know that but thing it's... where like um like you, you said oh yeah you you can never actually touch anything because your atoms are like pushing against the atoms yeah, of the thing true. they don't actually touch you know mm-hmm. and yeah. I'm like I'm, that, there's just, no reason you know for that what knowledge I mean. yeah. to yeah it's like you well, know what I mean. I know you it guys could be helpful. Like there yeah. is a reason for it to for that knowledge to exist and it's simply because without to make it make you feel smell feel smart. Well with, well without it we have no. like okay if you're a religious person then everything we're saying is blasphemy. You know <laughs> like like yeah. just to merely raise these ideas and like it's to make people understand that they're like you believing in God doesn't make you right. You know, mm. like that's so you can feel smarter for not believing in God. Well, <laughs> well, so you can feel safe for not believing <laughs> Busted. in God. So you can not be killed for not believing in God. You know, it's mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. it's to it's to bust out all this science. Like in in casual conversation, it makes you an asshole. You know, like to just say this stuff apropos of nothing. Yeah, if you're like, oh, you don't re-, like if, if if you're like, oh, I'm touching you, and someone's like, oh, you don't really touching anything. It's like a oh, fuck you. Yeah. You know, yeah. but like if you're <laughs> if you're trying to explain this to someone so that they can under like wrap their head around. The idea that you know there is no absolute truth in the universe, therefore mm-hmm. we cannot have a religious society because it's based I, in nothing. You I, know, I guess like, I guess I do see the 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 purpose of nihilism to come no. up at, at, at not not in general, like just like for one, like once, like every teenager mm-hmm. should have a little little pamphlet I, yeah, that I says agree. nothing yeah, exists, sure, you sure. fucking idiot, and then they read it and they're like, okay, they never have to talk about it again, but now they know, and then they can do yeah. real human being there's, things. There's, there's only a certain degree of like practical application that this knowledge has on your life, because like you, yeah. you're still gonna basically live everything the same way, exactly. even if you're somebody like me who doesn't believe that like consciousness or free will are real. Uh, like you still operate in basically the exact same way, and it changes nothing yeah. about your day to day life. Uh, that's uh, why it's I'm so funny fucking... to me that there's like 80 terms. You know, that's yeah. why it's hilarious. Yeah. It, I'm go a ahead, fucking bro. den of lions. I'm, I'm surrounded by fucking medusas and <laughs> well, ghouls and fucking monsters. I am 100% an optimist, and I will... I, I, like, I'm an optimist? After, that is not contr- I'm contradicting. I'm an optimist. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Conscious, oh, wait, it, wait, no, 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 no. I, gotta fight, I gotta fight you on this, Nate. Consciousness, okay, okay, right, consciousness is the only thing that is real. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, th- that is true. I, I guess what... I, I wouldn't say that consciousness isn't real, but I would argue that it's uh, very different from the way... It's generally because conceived. because everything in the world we have we experience secondhand, but our consciousness and our experiences right. are are they are the only thing that is objectively observable as and 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 like you know truth with a capital T existent. It, it's, it's in my like humble that... in this faggot's humble opinion. <laughs> I, I hear well, what you're coming from. Well, then you're not nihilist anymore, Ben. You believe in an objective thing. I be- yeah yeah well, well uh, okay yeah yeah that's what, what I said. That's why I said that the ontological, nihil- ontological nihilism ontological nihilism is clearly not true because we can fuck. There are fucking things we can. There are things that we can observe. 
are true. But what if, but well, what well, if they're well, all a the, simulation? Uh, well, 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 but are, but, the, but the mind, but the mind, but the mind experiencing that simulation can't also be a simulation. I think okay, j- j- that, that's a fair point. And to just cloudy the waters as much as possible at the Thank very you. beginning of this discussion, before we go any <laughs> further, I did. I just want to explain to anyone who doesn't know of this of the of the simulation theory that it is entirely possible that the entire universe that you live in, listener, right now, is in complete fabrication. Because think which, about which it, which affects nothing. There's no which, like even well, if that yeah. is true, that has <laughs> none no of, bearing none on you None of this whatsoever. affects anything. To, to even yeah. talk right, about right. nihilism at all is like the most privileged conversation. Conversation you can possibly have. <laughs> like it is, it is the realm of we have got, we have accomplished our base needs so well that now we can just think about concepts that mean nothing. It, you know? it, it, it it's is pretty really sick. funny. It, like it no is, matter how unreal, sick. no matter how much of a simulation it, the world is, if I cut myself right now, it's gonna hurt and I'll need a band aid. You know, it doesn't matter how it, unreal it is. It, it, it is kind of funny living in Africa. Matter, it you could matter. White let, let hippo finish. It fucking thing. could I, matter. It, it, I, I would. I would argue that that knowledge just like the whole thing about how like pushing your finger against your other finger technically no matter is touching any other matter but then again what exactly is matter is it the is it the potential cloud uh, of electrons matter, swirling no. around a nucleus? <laughs> what even the fuck is that shit I, we don't know all right uh, I, 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 I just uh-huh. wanted to say that i thought it was really funny that nihilism okay. <laughs> like nihilists um, have the least reason to discuss nihilism because of how pointless it is to discuss nihilism because they're nihilists. And yet, the Wikipedia article is huge, and there's so many different types. Checkmate, nihilist. Get yeah, well, hey, out hey, of hey, go look at the Christianity Wikipedia page, though. I bet uh, it dwarfs this. Yeah, you mean the you know. Bible? <laughs> oh my god. God's, original been, Wikipedia. God's been editing that shit since 6000 BC, dog. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I guess it can be. Fun I want to hear. I want to hear more on on stuff like that. I guess I want to yeah. hear Munchie's position because it sounds yeah. like he's coming from a different position than a lot oh. of us in this. Oh, 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 completely. Okay. Uh, I think you basically have to be retarded and like low functioning, <laughs> like you don't have enough brain cells, like an uh-huh. extra chromosome. Hey, man, to, like, I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> to or, or, or to, like you have like, to go to college to be this dumb to yeah. get into nihilism. Oh, as, oh, God. Exactly. as 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 Plankton uh-huh. as Plankton famously said in SpongeBob the Musical, "I went to college, <laughs> so you know it's clever." <laughs> uh, cynicism and nihilism are just like coping methods for people who have an Hercules, the snake of depression, in their crib, like I did when I was God a wee it. boy. Cynicism I, doesn't have to be linked to nihilism, but okay. Yeah, All right, I, I want to. I would just want to, uh, Munchie. I think you'd appreciate this. Mm-hmm. My favorite explanation of uh, nihilism ever was a wholesome mm-hmm. meme that Jesse posted one time. Excellent. Where Excellent. Uh, <laughs> on the left, it was how people think nihilists are and it was a, a guy like crying in the rain and going nothing matters and then on yeah, the right was it was a picture of the little like rad kid from the 90s yeah right? rad yeah, 90s yeah, dude yeah, on a surfboard yeah. thumbs yeah. up and he's like nothing matters yeah and that's how i feel all the time like to me it's the most it is <laughs> optimism is nihilism is to be like oh yeah none of this shit actually matters and I, I really want to reiterate you know? that, like, the, the foundation of this whole thing, and I, I generally agree with that almost entirely. I, I think I, I think we might use different words, but I think all of us agree on things, probably the vast majority of it, except maybe Munchie. But, like, all this comes from a foundation of, of observed truths that I have then been forced to construct a worldview from. So I'm just trying to be as accurate as possible, and I'm generally also a pretty positive person. So even though I think that, like, the universe is doomed and that there's, like, no hope of anything that's in it right now surviving in a few billion years and therefore my existence is objectively meaningless and pointless uh, like that doesn't matter. I mean, maybe we'll escape. Well, you know, I'm well, to I, yeah, learning I mean, new things. You ascribe sure. meaning to things by being alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, to, to say that it's meaningless is to like mm-hmm. is to place it within a framework of like of thing of it's, value. Well, it's values. just it's just objectively well, meaningless, but it's meaningful yeah, within yeah. the subjective yeah. experience. And, I don't. I, and I, I'm with I do Nate value the subjective well, 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 here's the well, here's the like, like yeah, mm-hmm. like for something to matter, like what does it mean for something to matter? And it's like, well, that means that like someone cares about it. So it's like so if you care about something then it matters uh, but see i wouldn't i i don't quite agree with that i do i do believe that consciousness is a valuable thing and worth you know like respecting and protecting but like i don't know if like human 
like if there's if it all ends one day, then that all was cool for the people who experienced it. But there was no real point to well, it. But, like but, nothing but, was but, accomplished. Well, no, no, no. You're missing. You're missing the point because okay, the point okay. is that like you, you're you're saying, oh, it doesn't matter because in the end it will all go away, and like mm-hmm. that's fine. Mm-hmm. But like it doesn't. There's there's no objective standard for whether things matter that you can compare to. Whether something matters or not is a matter of opinion. You know. You also have to the remember, universe hmm. does not work on a scale of is it worth it or not. It just exists yeah. and it is, yeah. and eventually yeah, it I, will die. I make die. it my goal to care about the universe so that it I, does matter. Yeah. I want to put I, it I, okay. I, okay. I think that okay yeah like the like the nothing matters like that's like that like epic like like law sick <laughs> skill streak uh-huh. is you know <laughs> nice and whatever however i like it when things are i like it when i care about things i like it when things matter and yeah. when things matter i don't necessarily like i of course i i'm not i like I, I prepare for the worst and hope for the best. I know yeah, that nothing yeah. actually matters, I, and I know that there is no real, like, you know, tangible, uh, like, spirit or ghosts or anything. Well, hey, but, uh, you know, I, I, really I, think... I, I just like it when I prescribe mean things because I'm a human but and that's, I like to experience That's, that's the best part is that for something, it doesn't take anything. All it takes for something to matter is just that you care about it, and then it matters. Yeah, exactly. Bam. And I care I think, about I think, everything. I think the that main the thing that, that, that this okay. is all, like, based on is that when you're a kid... You don't understand that things might not matter because you think the the universe is centered around you. Everybody's talking to you. You're you're the mm-hmm. main character, which I would argue and it basically is. Yeah, it is. Sort yeah. of. I mean, when you're a kid, only that's for Munchie though. Only and, for Munchie. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, but then, like, uh, as you get a bit older, you realize that you're just one of many human beings, and you're not actually that special. But um, yeah. and you think, oh, maybe nothing matters, and you learn that's... to be a nihilist. And, but then, I think it's sort of like a a, a, a like um. Uh, a maturing of that idea in your brain that makes you, uh, you know, you, th- th- once you think that nothing matters, then you can care about things because there's nothing in your brain telling you, oh, you should be doing this because, you know, other people say that you should do it or your parents or, you, you know, some other higher power. Or like, there's, there's, there's no rules in the universe, so you feel better. And it's really just like a... A, like a transitioning period away from thinking that things matter in terms of like you know stuff that you don't like like uh, yeah. you know parents telling you to go to college and you don't want to go and but you think you have to because it matters and once you realize that it doesn't then you can care about real things but, I, but, I don't but, know where I'm going to with say it. nothing other matters in that context in like, yeah, like yeah. The, the question of things don't matter so why would I go to college that that that's that's where the pragmatic side of this comes in because there's no point in like like if nothing matters why don't I just lay down and die the, the yeah. reason yeah, that, that's yeah, the middle don't point. do that what, what I was trying yeah, okay. to get at is like okay. the, the middle point is like why don't I just kill myself like I mean some people do that but some people don't mm-hmm. and um it's like it, Parents say go to college, and you think that matters intrinsically, and it's like the thing, and then you mm. realize that nothing matters. But then you oh, may come, yeah. you may come to think, I want to go to college anyway because I yeah. I think it matters. And then that's, that that that's, is a, I, that's a the, good point. The truth. Like, yeah. like it's like there's an intrinsic truth being told to us, and I think probably all of us, except maybe Munch, when we were young, certainly got fed the college will be the answer to all your problems in life. No, like, no, it's I what got you that do. Too. And you did okay, okay. Yeah. And like you know, it certainly can help in some ways. But like we have all grown up and learned that college is in fact not actually a magical solution to all your problems, economic no. and otherwise. In, in life. fact, it's a magical to... problem that will ruin your yeah. life. <laughs> I am currently <laughs> saddled with years. quite a bit of fucking debt that I'm slowly working my way out of. And in fact, I'm not too far away from. But like, it has been a burden on me for years. And then like, uh, all my goal in life now is just to quickly get away they, from the stuff know, that I've been. You know you don't have to pay off that debt because when your parents die, then you'll inherit mm. all of their money, and so their <laughs> money is basically your money. So well, my parents are going to live for at least a while parents, longer. Nate. I, I want to. I don't want to have to pay a student loan uh, payments just, every month. I was just month, quoting so. Ben's uh, yeah. argument for why he still has yeah, the student I'm, loans. I'd, I'd like to yeah, distance myself like? from that quote as much <laughs> as possible. <laughs> actually, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've taken it back now. I should. 
stop. I, I, I should I stop felt, explaining to people that I felt this so. Is ben I felt. I felt life. so. I felt so shitty as soon as that came out of my mouth. I was like, oh god, no, <laughs> come on. I, I, that's appropriate. That's an appropriate feeling to have. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's one of my favorite things anyone's ever said. To be <laughs> that's perfectly very ben. honest, that's Great. very Ben. Great. Ben saying, you know, uh, sticks I, his head out of the dumpster he's currently in I, and just spouts off a one-liner like that every once in a while. I, I hate you. I, I hate you. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> oh fuck! I completely I am currently forgot what I was texting bring up our earlier. dear mother oh, yeah. with this information. <laughs> so, yes. So, good, uh, good. so time, time's not real, right? Like, well, <laughs> uh, hang on, <laughs> I saw Gunbuster. There time's is in fact like time. another. Well, it's like another dimension, right? It, like it's well, all no. Let's it's define not, that. It's let's not that it's this. not real. It's it's real because like we can we can come up with a definition of what I, it means I when we talk long about time. time. Okay. I spent like, a long time thinking that time was in fact not real, and it was just a way that we accounted for like this stuff was this way at one point, and that so, then things moved, yeah. and now they're this way. It turns out that is in fact not true because time is a measurable phenomenon in the universe that but can be time, accounted for. And, time you know, is like that. time is like something mm-hmm. that stuff in the universe experiences, but it's not like it's Sorry, there's yeah. like an outside of time, right? Like, well, what are you guys uh, talking about? Is it, yeah. is it obviously I exists? I is light it or is incense it, every day. Is it or is it not true that all time exists at once? Like all that's, of the time, uh, all of the how, time of the universe's dude, existence are you observable from well, the that, outside. Wait, no, no, that's that's <laughs> a fucked up question because you can't say that it all exists at once because by saying at once, you're referencing the concept of time. So, Shit, okay, how can right. we get away? I mean, okay, so is, is there a time when time began? I think there probably was. Uh, yeah, 8.15 uh, p.m. Yeah, uh, today. Prob- you uh, know what? I really, I, I, I really uh, feel, does, does I really the feel like... the concept of beginning exist outside of what we... Dude. I don't you know, know. I, 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 I Does really it feel matter bad. at all? No. I really well, feel bad. I, have ideas. Ideas. I feel like wait, wait, I should. Guys, I feel guys. like I should be the expert on this question because I have like a physics degree. But like, I really right, don't right. fucking know what to say. Dude, about I got this. it. I, 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 fuck it. I fucking. I fucking have it. I fucking have okay. it. Look, that mm-hmm. Time has just started. Before that, that was just like an, a memory, like a like a made up. Like it, we just thought that all mm-hmm. of our entire mm-hmm. lives just happened. Like that was just a joke, as a meme. It, it started now. <laughs> well, what That's I'm trying to get at, what you're what referring to, to is a very that, common. That is, a, yeah, go on. Go on. Sorry, I'm yeah, just trying just, to get at that. Like the end of the universe is mm-hmm. already when it happens. It will. It will always be in the now, right? Kind of right. like uh, what CGP right. Gray was saying about how you you don't die in the future. You always die right now. Uh, it's just not necessarily, uh, you know. I like, mean, when, the, the when you die, that, that, that isn't quite accurate. It's not quite accurate to say that, like, well, it's not there, that it's not accurate. Not... It's just that the, we use the word future to mean uh, a thing. We we know the right. future doesn't exist because this, it can never well, that, exist. No, that's this not is, true. This that, is all some slippery language. True. This is all some slippery yeah, language so shenanigans. I'm no, just okay, saying but we that know the universe not the case has already ended. Like it's already it's already there. That's not. True, God But it's it, not here now. It's in the real. future. It's in the future. There's time between now and then in this moment that I'm speaking. Okay, mm. but but uh, so did you? Are you just talking about like the uh, the? I forget what the term is. Like the like it's the, like it's a, a, like time is time is it's 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 deterministic. It, a path that's deterministic. Established. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Is that what you're trying like, to say like, right now? Maybe the uh, universe is fully deterministic and like the end is already mm-hmm. written into the beginning and like there like it's all on a set path. Actually, you know what? That's a great topic to bring up because I literally believe that there is no reason to. To not think that the universe is 100% deterministic because right. the only way that you could object to that is to argue that that free will exists in some way there, that the agents no, within the that universe that argument no, makes that's no not sense true at all because like, like, no, the no. existence of free will makes no sense uh, uh, exactly it, 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 so no, no, you don't real. you don't have to argue for free will to argue against determinism because there could still this... be random there could still be randomness that's uh, true. I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm itching. Okay, but wait, wait, I'm but, but, right now. Wait, but, 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 but the I, only way you can make next. that argument is that you have to say that there is some force that acts on the universe outside of like no, just physics. No, no, that's not true. Because otherwise, everything just operates. Some things oh. can just be random. Why not? But, but why would they? Okay, but why would they? Randomness is not. Randomness isn't actually like real. Prove it. As I Prove understand it. it. Is Prove there it. any evidence for randomness? Uh, uh, yes. Well, okay, but I, what, I would say the evidence for this lies on you guys. I would say that what I'm saying is that there are only. Like the the types of forces that exist that we know of, like in terms of physics as we understand it now, things okay, happen okay, the okay. way they would have happened based on you know cause and effect. No. So yeah, yeah I, no, no. I, I see what no? the the, the, no. the argument randomness. is. No, no, no. It, like I see what the argument for not randomness is mm. say if everybody does the exact same muscle movement yeah. in throughout the entire history of the universe, anything that can move moves in exactly the same way every single time. Mm-hmm. 
um, physics would follow, I think, is There's, the idea. Yeah. Look, I just like, want to... If, if the whole universe was gonna reset... Fall, it was going to the whole universe because reset. a person stepped on it twice... And uh, if they per- step on it, like it, the the exact history of them getting to that mm-hmm. place with that particular shoe and stepping on it exactly the same way twice in mm-hmm. another version of the same universe, it would fall at the exact same time, let me, the exact same way. Let right. me let me just get this out there so we can proceed with this knowledge. Like the okay. ba- like okay. the most fundamental physical things and events happen at a mm-hmm. small enough scale, and at that scale, things are determined randomly. Like our best understanding of the universe is that things literally are entirely built on probabilities. Isn't that so, just okay. our so, so, best understanding? Well, it like, might be. It might if it's just our best understanding. But, but, I'm to go to, with it, it might just be our best understanding there could be Mm -hmm. something underlying it that is deterministic but we don't know that and why would we think that there necessarily has to be it just doesn't seem like it makes any sense for anything oh that's a great fucking argument oh oh, it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right why would we operate on it if we don't know that it's true I'll fucking destroy well that's our best that's our best knowledge our best knowledge is it the the absolute truth I don't know but it's the best we got I would say there's a difference between like functionally random and like truly random this is truly random this is truly Here, 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 our best understanding is, is fucking, based on okay. true knowledge, randomness. Knowledge, okay. knowledge, knowledge. Uh, here, uh, here we go. Here is some knowledge. <laughs> okay. Uh, photons. Uh, they're like they're like uh, what do you call them? Paradoxical. Like they 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 can exist in two places at once, provably. Uh, okay. They 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 did like uh, I can't remember what it was called. There's an experiment where they fire a single photon in a thing. And instead of like it being like a dot that hits one, like this this sheet a sheet of something that detects photons, it was like they shot it and it like appeared in multiple places, even though it was just one thing and it didn't split. Yeah, it's Young's it's Young's double slit ex- experiment. And yeah, you've it's not that the photons are. <sighs> I don't well, want to get into but, it. But hang on, hang on. Okay, so something... <laughs> it's hard. It's possible I'm, that something I'm could stupid. exist in two places at once, but that's different from it's random. Not, like, okay, if you find that... If since you, if we're you on did it, the experiment again... Okay. Right, since we're on this topic, I'll just... just I'll flex my nuts a little bit more and say that it's okay. it, it's not so much that they exist at multiple places at once. It's that their existence is spread across a continuum of probabilities of location. And that okay. those probabilities... Okay, so, like, the existence is a waveform of probability that, it like, undulates beyond like through space and that the measurement a measurement of the photon's location will determine will localize it and determine that no, that it's actually located at just one of those places but until the measurement is right, made right. it is not localized so that it is a spread of probabilities okay but here's my question if if under the exact same circumstances we were able to like okay we, we reset the universe and we perform this experiment again and the first time that we did before we reset the universe we got X result. If we did that experiment again, would we get the same result, or would no. it be somewhere else? Which, our, which our would best, the our best, underst- our best understanding of the phenomenon mm-hmm. is that no, we would not necessarily get the same result. Okay, well that's important. That's yeah, important. I, I think so that's yes. important yeah. to understand. Okay. I okay. think, if I just have the floor here, I think that all of this has been the worst experience of my life <laughs> for all the reasons. Okay. Uh, uh, all of these, all of these vague, you know, uh, 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 this is not disgusting, vague. This is, smart, this smart is, terms such as s- like slice of life, Munchie, time, Munchie dropped out of, all, Munchie all, dropped these, out. all of these, all of these, all of these terms uh-huh. like words and beliefs. Munchie dropped out of fun. clown college, so he wouldn't have to hear these kind of arguments anymore. Yes. He was sick of all this f- fancy frou frou bullshit. That's yeah, why he yeah. became a street juggalo. He, dro- he dropped. Shit he dropped out of ICPU. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Um, here is my my here's my political and philosophical beliefs. It, it, it's mm-hmm. a new thing that I've just admitted. It's called real meatism, where okay. I believe in real meat only, uh, <laughs> uh, and, which which means all these things like okay t- time. You can argue all you want about shit that doesn't matter, like time and like how it, it like it has. Is there a, is there a beginning of time? Sure, it's nice to know that for like textbooks, and so we can know more about the world, so we can like conquer it. That's mm-hmm. it. But that's the thing. I only care about that because it will benefit me to know that, so I can destroy other civilizations in my future. I only care like. I only care about things that like will impact me, and I only care like there, like there's no there's no reason for me to like care about 
the highfalutin concepts in life. Well, Munchie, well, there's no, there's I got, no reason I, I to got, get bogged I got a down in the minutiae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a challenge for yeah, you yeah. on this, Munchie. Okay, mm-hmm. th- this isn't exactly what we were just talking about, but I bring mm-hmm. this topic up a lot, and I, I don't go into it too often, but I would argue to you, I think there is an excellent case to be made that you, in fact, have literally no control over your life. You have zero I, control. You are I, simply an automaton acting upon biological impulses that, that are just physical you know, reactions to things. And I, that you, everything you what, think though? you're doing in your life is not actually you. You're not accomplishing anything. Mm-hmm. You're just a, you are a witness to the events happening in your well, body. Well, oh wait, is this, are you talking about free will or, or what are you, what are you free saying? Free will. I'm, this is about free oh, will. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, okay, sure, I agree. That's all, relevant. All, all of our actions are based on what we have learned. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing about real meatism. Uh, okay. It, like, like, <laughs> Basically, I operate on like a language. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like I operate on good enough, like, like JavaScript like, language. You're like yeah, yeah, Python? yeah. Okay. I, I, I run on C plus plus. Actually, okay. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, you know, I'm looking for a degree here. Uh, <laughs> it's good enough to say that there is free will because everyone will know what you mean by free will. I agree. I can yeah. move my arm. I am not limited by a government or you know robot. This is this is like the I Victor can argument. do that. Me and Victor yeah. have been on this like weird Cold War argument across our different Digibros playthroughs about free will, <laughs> where the, he's uh, trying yeah. to argue that free will is real, and I'm trying to argue that it's not. But we're really I, arguing two different layers of the problem. Right, right, I'm yeah, arguing it on a on a the, um, metaphysical or whatever level, and he's mm-hmm. or what's the word I'm looking for? Philosophical level. He's arguing right. it on a like just every like day, like, everyday like, life. Like, yeah. He's yeah. arguing yeah. It on a, a real God meatist, doesn't a real decide what your <laughs> life is level yeah. you know the, 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 the only exactly. thing that you That's can what I'm like the, the only thing that can be like uh, determined by like free will yes no is um what happens when time travel is invented if you go back and not, not no if free will, when uh, yeah, right, there you when, go. There when. You go. <laughs> um, uh, can you change the future and do like timeline offshoots exist uh, you know that if free will will determine uh, whether that that is how time travel works, or if it's like the other way, it'll be like a different way. It will that, settle that, that question. It will I, settle that question. It, it's it's, I when you say you're like your atoms will not go together, and when you're touching something that's not, you're not really touching it. It's good enough to say that you are touching it. That works for you because you are a human, and your eyes can't zoom yeah. in that big. You don't need <laughs> you. You, well, you don't have that but, big okay, of a telescope that, in your brain. But that information could be useful. Okay, but it you know could. What? You I'm know not what? saying that it doesn't deserve to exist or that we shouldn't I, research the sciences. I'm just saying, for all intents and purposes, I don't like like for like my daily life. I don't need to know that. I need to know that in case That's I true. am a physicist. That's but true. But in order I'll, to I'll like live a human life, I want to say that things matter. And yeah. I, th- I, the only things that do matter to me are the things that I can observe as a human. But that's no, like fucking. But that's things. such a limited that, amount of information. N- no, no. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, it does. You yeah. don't need to understand anything in order to determine whether something matters or not, because it's yeah, totally yeah, a matter yeah, yeah. of opinion. Well, you know what? Yeah. Let's, w- let's get only, into that. It, matters of opinion are only things yeah. that like humans. By, like, by the way, yeah. imagine, yeah. imagine like the, you're at a party or or at a some place, and you're talking yeah. to a guy, yeah. and you don't know who he is. And, uh, you know, there's conversations that come up and he's like, uh, did you know I'm touching this? And he's like, yeah, that's true. You know, that, that's a good conversation. I like that one. Thank because, you. Because it's not annoying, you know? And, yeah. uh, but if he starts going, oh, well, actually, atoms and bullshit. And I'm like, it, I just don't like you now. You've ruined this friendship. Yeah. I, I want to uh, state, by the well, way, while well, this is going Well, I still like on, you, Hippo, so there. <laughs> while, while this has been going on, I decided Sorry, I'm, not, I'm not a nihilist. I am actually, Thank God. I am actually an absurdist. And I don't think that's actually a thing people call themselves. I think it's actually just a genre of fiction. But it's a better description because I feel like nihilism um, believes that there just is no meaning. But absurdism is about how humans can't find meaning. Like, that maybe there's meaning, but no. there's no, no possible way that humans could ever understand it. What, what, that's, there that, can't be meaning outside of a conscious that's being just, that that's determines just nihilism with a, with a clown afro. Why, Ben? Why can there not be meaning be- outside of because well because like I've been meaning. saying like I've been saying this whole time meaning is just an opinion so you need Wait, to be ben, you need to be a living thinking me? you need to be a living thinking thing in order to have ben, such an opinion. Are you telling me that if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, it does not make a sound? 
Well, what the fuck? Not. Ex- I mean, I see. What I see what you, you mean. I see what you're saying, and I think I it don't. depends on what you mean by sound. If you mean the physical sensation of hearing a thing, then no. But if you mean that, like the the concussion of the airwaves, think, then yes. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 the, the blow, the, the the vibrations of of the tree falling down will damage the tree. And then that will be like, uh, like you go and record it. Like, oh, th- this tree has like sound wave damage. We can tell what you use this uh, mm-hmm. new technology to hear how has this it guy, has this it not tree made fell. the sound until it's been observed. Like it uh, hasn't. Well, I well, mean, if there's if there's mm, a way in the future, it. if there's like a special gadget that can uh, like scan the vibration. All right, we've been, we've uh, already bet this analogy like a tree. way past <laughs> yeah. where it's meant no, to be used. I want I want to go here. All right. <laughs> all right. If, go ahead. if there's a gadget that can like uh, scan a tree to see how uh, like the vibrations have affected it, mm-hmm. we can hear the tree's like ear, like what it heard. Okay. We can we can hear uh, what the you're tree not wrong. is. You're not wrong. Okay. And that would how... be fucking sick. Like we could yeah like. <laughs> You're saying we could measure the effects, the past effects of a tree yeah. of having fallen. I, if if I a tree fell all, through a vacuum and made a sound. It, and made a how sound. does it benefit the universe to have meaning? There's no reason for the universe to have meaning. Yeah, no, meaning there's is for humans to want things so yes. they can continue living. We don't know that, though. 100%. What if there's something beyond the what? universe that has its why own would, yeah, Why like, would you assume like that? We couldn't possibly absurd. know what that is, though. We couldn't well, possibly yeah, understand. Yeah, that's exactly. That's, what I, no that's why I'm saying absurdism. It's where you can't. You just oh. can't possibly so know. So you're just this, retarded. You're, you're just putting probably just something retarded. that you have no reason to believe exists. If you're well, asserting that that's real, you know? I mean, are you? Mean? I mean, are you talking about some like extra dimensional aliens? Basically, is, is uh, possibly what you're or here? anything like it's it's <laughs> beyond. I, well, I, it is I mean, beyond I, my ability to imagine. Is what well, I'm saying. I think that I think that yeah. Well, they might be different. I think like fundamentally, they have to be similar to us in that they have to be conscious thinking beings Why? in order to have Why? meaning. Well, okay, well, okay, that's, because that's what meaning is. I'm, I'm because saying, because meaning if, itself is a every... concept we have made up for a thing that right. we decided that we wanted. So like sure. meaning as we understand it can only arise I... from like a similar consciousness. Mm, I can believe. Sure. I can. I, be, I can believe and agree with the idea that we can't know whether Homestuck is real. But I would like to. Believe <laughs> it is. Well, okay. Okay. So the the term meaning is it is it accurate to say the term meaning is really defined in sort of like the ways that we as the biological organisms are. We have biological imperatives, and we've sort of defined the word meaning based on our desires and urges as the creatures uh, that we are and like what I, we want to accomplish. I hey, guess. More or less. Is there anything I, beyond I, like what else could there less. be? How else could you even I define know, what that means? To change the subject slightly, I want to know mm. if anybody else has this experience. Do you ever have moments where you like you're having too good of a time and you start to wonder if you are actually like this is all a hallucination? Yeah. Like you actually lost your mind a couple of years ago and you're <laughs> you're yeah, sure. uh, no, nothing, I'm nothing not quite an emotionally stunted free. <laughs> like sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes well, when I am. Sometimes I when I'm am. with my girlfriend, I wonder if she's just a real doll that I've convinced myself is human. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> hmm. That is like, adorable. And true. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what if everyone's just humoring me, or like? Or oh, like yeah. I'm no, such no, a conv- I know what you mean. What if no, I'm exactly really convincing mean. ventriloquist? There's, like you know, very, um, uh, th- that's where that's where Occam's razor is easy to utilize because th- well, th- it'd be very it'd be a lot of work for everyone well, to like but, placate yeah. you and make you think. I, no, I, I, well, well, uh, what Occam, if I'm just Occam's an insane razor. person hallucinating everything in insane detail? Like what if Occam's I'm just possible. in a in Occam's a razor is a facility, okay. Occam's razor is a tool for deciding like is a useful tool for deciding what's like helpful, but it's not. A, a way to arrive at truth. It doesn't I mean, like you don't I, determine. I well, you don't determine anything objective I mean, te- by applying Occam's razor to te- it. But so much of what we could learn be, is just a. We could we could all be aliens playing different versions of Roy at the moment. Is is the idea? It, that's correct. That, yeah. Exactly. And, and I but hope I hope me, that that's true so bad. The only yeah, because then I can we... wake up and be like, oh yeah, a blorp blarp, you know. So Ben, yeah. Ben, if, if in the event that we are all a simulation, would you still say that we think, therefore we are? Yeah. Like at least on a functional I, level. That's absolutely. The case. For, absolutely. You, in this in this scenario where you were just an insane person, like banging your head against a wall in an insane mm-hmm. asylum, and, and none of you are real. This, 
Yeah. yeah. For all intents and purposes, this is real. This is the yeah. same thing with the simulation like Matrix World. But, it, but Does it's it not... matter that it's not real? Because you are experiencing all these emotions right. and it's feelings functionally in, real, like, in real life. Functionally but not objectively and for all intents and purposes real. real. Okay, you know what? You know what? This, this nothing, touches on this. Objectively, objectively, nothing objectively has... matters. Objective, no, 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 okay, okay. Objectivity doesn't exist. That's, yes. that, that is not true. Okay, sure. okay, all right. Let's, let's, let's talk about this for a second. Okay, but there are some things that are objective. Just throw that out there. Right. They're okay. So like when it comes to like what like we experience, women. our whole our whole perception of the universe and everything we know just comes through the through the the crude matter of our senses and what we can observe and what we can process into our brain through our eyes, our our taste buds, our, and our, our dick. nose, most our importantly ear, our, our, our our dick. You know all these things, and they none of them are like perfectly reliable ever. And we you know all the time you hear stories of people who are hallucinating, and you know so none of these are like one hundred percent reliable. So mm, all of this shit sure. could totally be fake. And yeah, there's sure. And yeah, the, Ben, you know, Ben, you say some things are objective, approve it. Uh you're fucking you're the, the existence of your two mind. Plus two equals the, four? The, two plus two equals four? Yeah, that's that that's that's objectively true because mm-hmm. we've defined those terms and we've defined how they relate to each other in a way that like yeah. that's just a function of like the system of math that we've created. So that so that's like okay. definitionally true. But mm-hmm. like outside mm-hmm. of like definitions and, and, and things like that. Um, like, yeah, like, fucking, you know, Descartes and all that shit. The, the, like, the existence of the De- self. Like, you know, Descartes and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a fucking, it's old hat at this point. I, but want that, I want that as, like, an overheard conversation in the background <laughs> of a party in Rick and Morty or something. Like, you know, oh, you know, Descartes like, and all that shit. Like, like, sure, you could be being fooled, and all the things you believe are true could be false. But, like, for you to believe those false things, you have to exist in some form in order well, to believe them. So, like, Descartes the existence, believes, the existence of the I, self... Like, 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 even, even if the things that you think you're experiencing are not as you believe they are, the experiences themselves are real. But and, it's only, like, it's only true. true from, like, y- only you can prove to yourself that you yeah. are experiencing yeah. We are, we are right. currently yeah, that's proving true. to that's everyone true. other than ourselves that right. they are real, but no, I mean, to us, we are proving we are real. Mm. Well, if yeah, if right. I would argue that if you all are in fact real, which I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you are, <laughs> but if you are real and experiencing consciousnesses, then then it, your consciousnesses and your experiences are objectively real, if they what are if, indeed. What if occurring. someone like what if I'm like if I write a character and I write them in such a depth as though they had full conscious thought, like yeah. like what if we are like just they. characters, you know? Like, what if I've, we are well, all... done with that with the Japanese no. juggalo, well, and he is living with me right now. I, I, mean, I can ha- look at him right now, so I, I proved your point. I don't see how you can get around the idea that you have to be real. You have to you could, exist to like, experience something. You could program a cyber brain, right? Like yeah, you could maybe. Like what if, like what if we're all just going through all the subroutines we've been programmed with? You Which know? we are. That's that. That's well, that's well, that, that's yeah. what a mind is. That's what a, a brain yeah. is. That would be. That would be. Yeah. Like we're we're, we're all made between, of you stuff. Know, you know the the the, mm-hmm. the, the constant mm-hmm. with all of this. Like the the thing that is always true and the the most objective thing is that uh, it is the biggest waste of time ever to talk <laughs> and think and 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 ponder about this because it, it it always comes back to. Yeah. Well, I guess it might be. But, yeah, that's yeah. what you think. Yeah, Until but how we can... discover, like they did in Gunbuster, how to use dolphins to power spaceships to travel travel through space. It, 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 yeah. Gee, uh, fucking yeah. faster oh, than light travel. Oh, no so eat your fucking hat Same. when we get them dolphins hooked up, boy. But how can <laughs> mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, on that exact quote. On that like, exact and, like, quote. The objective truth shouldn't be pursued. Okay. Just okay. For Here's the thing. Normal instances, it's retarded. This is what I was trying to get to before with my talk about like how the things that we observe, we can't guarantee that any of that is real or true. Like, is my color blue the same as what you see as the color blue? Who the fuck knows? There's no way to prove it. Vsauce. But what I would say is that I believe Dude, hold that on. Real is... quick, you brought what? up that Vsauce thing. And yeah, I, yeah, I didn't even would... mean to bring up Vsauce. No, 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 yeah, no, v- no, yeah, no, Vsauce, no, no, Vsauce doesn't no, have no, a, a Munchie patent brought up, on that. Munchie yeah. said Vsauce. And when I saw okay, that Vsauce okay. video, it had pissed me off so much because they presented <laughs> that like it was this really mind-blowing concept. And I yeah, literally yeah. just thought that on my own when I was 10. I mean, I think everyone does, don't they? What if your blue's not my blue? And the Vsauce guy was all like, dude, what if your blue <laughs> isn't my blue? And I was like, are you yeah, fucking yeah, serious? It's, 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 oh, that yeah. blew my mind. And that was why blue I baby. never watched Vsauce again. 
Yeah. Vsauce okay. is but, just but the, for babies, and that's way... It is. Yeah. It like, is. I, but realized I was that thinking, I was thinking that as a baby. I was thinking that as a baby. It's I was for yeah. really little it's babies. It's the first thing I fucking said as I, <laughs> I, 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 I slid out the womb. I literally <laughs> remember... It's probably different for you. I literally remember <laughs> having that realization and conversation right after watching The Matrix 2. Like, me and my family <laughs> yeah, were in a sure. Denny's after watching The Matrix 2, and I was talking to Victor, and I was like, dude, what if your green's not my green? And Matrix like, Two, Matrix out. Two, much regarded as the most intellectual of the Matrix series. Yeah, uh, but anyway, <laughs> dude, it's okay, dude but the, one time I had food poisoning. I was at my friend's house, and then and then uh, like like da- the dad came over and like knocked, and they're like, "Hey, are you all right?" I was like, "Yeah, but I don't understand why can't I switch to third person like I can in video games? I don't like <laughs> like why are my eyes in this position only? Why can't yeah. I see behind that me?" That is pretty trippy. It's a to real think thing I sometimes. actually said while I had food poisoning. That's not a joke. I I like that. I like that. Uh, uh, okay, so. Uh, this is the thing that I believe, even though I actually don't have any any concrete proof that it is true. But I believe that there is a like a highest level true, a, like uh, an objective true world. Like I, yeah. I don't I could be in a simulation easily. But yeah. like okay, let's say I'm in the Matrix. Okay, we're up one level from that. We're in the we're we're looking at my body in a pod or whatever. Okay, so this is like a higher level world, and that stuff all looks true. And even though the people up there are still perceiving everything with their eyes, uh, which makes it therefore uh, objectively not the accurate representation exactly of what it really is in, you know, as true as as the Lord Jesus made it. Uh, and, and, you know, like, you can go up as high as you want, up through, like, uh, uh, you know, artificial world through artificial world through, through you know, data escape or whatever. I'm talking about if you go all the way up to the highest one that there is, and I'm just saying this from an outsider, like, you just know that this is as high as you can go. If you are, If you know that that's true, and the, no the buck there, has to stop somewhere. It, it has to stop somewhere. There has to be an upper limit to it at some point. And uh, uh, and, and like like even even though the people on that level again they still have sensory organs probably and they're probably perceiving things in the same way. That's imperfect. But on that top level, the world that exists there that is the objectively real true world. That is the one that yep. would be and, and like no one bleach? like. No one can experience that themselves, but like it is there and it is objective. That that is what I strongly believe, even though I don't know it's one hundred percent true. To me, that seems quite likely that that's the way things work. Uh, Dude, yeah. here's my philosophy: um, uh, nothing may exist and all that, you know, all that jazz. Uh, but uh, getting a boner is pretty good, so I'm gonna do that over and over. It, well, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of just yeah, that, like that's, that's real meatism, dude. That's real meatism. Yeah, For all real meatism bonus. Yeah. Oh, okay, you know what? That, that's a good segue. Boner exists. That's a good segue. Let's. Th- I think this is a, a subject that, uh, in terms of nihilism, a lot of people immediately jump to, and it's like, okay, good and evil. Good and evil. Uh, is it real? Is there what's what? Should we should we uh, believe yes, in it? Yes, and I am both to it? at once. You're both at once. Okay. So like, I, can we just all agree immediately that good and evil have been defined by humans? They're they're entirely yeah. based on like yeah, our um, understanding. Well, yeah. of what we here's want. here's here's my thoughts uh, on that. I believe okay. I strongly believe that saying that something is good is literally mm-hmm. the same thing. Like it, it completely interchangeable. Like 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 linguistically, with mm-hmm. just saying that you like it. And same with saying that something is bad is literally the same statement as saying I don't like it. And there is no That's fight. what it boils down to. I yeah. I firm, people have tried to argue with me on this and I've never been convinced that I'm that this is wrong. Like it explains everything. We should just replace language with little emojis. We should have like a happy face when you when you you know good. It's like I mean, yes. I would argue and then, like, like an angry face when you see a bad man. <laughs> you don't like him. I want to be able to up and down vote people in real life and and things and interactions and and any of that. Shit. I have That'd to pee so bad. I'll be back in one fucking minute. I'm so oh sorry. I forgive me. It's forgive me. Fine. Equals dot. Dude, it it, it 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 could be like Bronicon. You could have like a little thing around your neck, and if, yes! if you're happy, little smile. You turn oh, it around, right. upset. Please do like not how, approach me. I'm upset. I, I I like how like in real life you want to lanyards around your neck to simulate what feeling you have when you could just use your face. To no, make I, you I, I liked I liked having that thing around my neck to simulate what it's like to be a pony who's got a fucking reins attached to his face. Yeah. That's what I liked about. Crony con. When uh, are we going back? When? As soon as possible. Okay. Well, <laughs> so uh, Ben was Ben was I'm talking about how like, good... Bronycon to get the new iPhone uh, <laughs> like horse. Nay. Right. Are we okay, so, so, are we done talking about Nihilus? No, no, I've got no. I've got one more point I want to make here, and I'm trying to get. To. Okay. So 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 Ben Ben was saying all that bullshit that I don't care about. Uh, but but at the at the lowest level, 
like, originally, the first life form that came to exist on Earth was functioning based on purely, like, attraction versus repulsion. Like, attraction toward food in whatever, like, sensory organs it had to do that. And then repulsion from, like, probably things like danger or... Yeah, like, like danger would probably be the only thing. Which is... is it, 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 it all just boils down to, like, good, bad. Like, I want to go towards this food. I'm going to go away from this shit I don't want. And you know, we're talking about, like, a single-celled organism that just, like, absorbs shit by touch excuse me, by touching it, and then just, like, tries to stay away from shit that'll, like, eat it or kill it or poison it or, or whatever the fuck. So, like, I, considering I think that humans are just, you know, we, that organism evolved and it kept evolving and evolving, and eventually we've got human beings, people think that, like, the system of morality that's in place, you know, in, re like, religious terms has been passed down, but I, it, it seems to me all super easily explainable just in terms of Again, biological imperatives. So I just yeah. want to make this super clear to people that good and evil, I don't think is objectively true in any way. But what I actually, I actually am a little bit different from some people. And I think that there sort of is an objectivity element to this, Ooh. which is that there are, it's, it's even a little fuzzy to say, but there are basically objective truths in that, like, there are experiences that are, like, positive and negative for people. Like, death, not all the time, but generally it is like an objectively bad thing to do and i know i'm mixing generally and objectively mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. death is objectively bad but what makes like life occasionally like less preferable to death is all like this terrible shit happening that that corrupts what life is supposed to be and like pleasure generally preferable to pain and so i really think this is my like hedonism shit i think it makes sense to like construct your life and your world in such a way that you maximize pleasure and minimize pain and that doesn't even mean like hooking yourself up to like a pleasure machine or just would, doing heroin all, right. all the time would it be would it be like like mm. um maximize pleasure and minimize yeah. pain asterisks unless you like pain uh, in, in, uh, in well, which if, case if, that, if so that would just be pleasure for you, you yeah know? so it makes it's it like it's like your thing but with a little asterisk mm -hmm. like unless not unless different yeah but, but see, I'm taking this to the macro level because I don't even think it's just like – like if you're a nihilist, I don't think it makes the most sense to just like – or if you're a hedonist, like just being really pleasured all the time yourself, I would argue is not actually the most pleasure you can experience. I would argue that you're missing all kinds of stuff that you can only experience. And I maybe if we I'm, develop okay, high-level artificial I'm back, worlds – I'm back. I'm different. back, everybody. Okay. Everyone okay, stop okay. the fucking presses. I'm back. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> Excellent. I, I, I think um, fucking uh -huh. uh, – like the, the idea that you can't have pleasure for – like uh, like if you have pleasure, then you yeah. don't know what pleasure is – and you have to have a mm -hmm. bit of unpleasure. I think sure. the human brain does that automatically. Like, I, I don't think, like, I can't... The human, the human mind like, definitely has a quick drop-off of, like, if you accomplish your life goal in a week, you're going to be bored of it. You're going to want to yeah. do some other shit. Like, you know, it, like sure. it, it, it's built to... Like unless and you're that's literally how it incentivizes pumping yourself progress. drugs. That's, that's how, but even why, then, yeah, even then, drugs, drugs lose their effectiveness. Over happiness time. is you're right, you're right. happiness is a journey. Happiness is not a destination because if it's mm -hmm. a destination, you'll get there and then you won't be happy anymore. And the way to be happy then, is to structure your life so that you always have a goal to be working towards. That's, that's what I believe. Never will be great because we'll always be happy no matter what. And there's no way you can ever be fully bored because uh, you can just keep doing things. Yeah. Happiness is my penis. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's oh, why nice. that oh, that is where this hedonism and like humanism intersect. Like I, yeah. I there is no reason to not just act in a way to like maximize pleasure in your life. But it is not maximizing pleasure in your life to just literally go around like murdering people for fun and then well, like because uh, sure like because like that will your life will end very quickly and unpleasantly if you just go around doing that and then like doing drugs like you, you'll die well, very soon you got to maximize in the long term in the long well, term not a lot of people want well then, the, the, then their pleasure is to do the things that they want to do and it yeah, doesn't matter well, how it, the in the in the, in, are. In, they in the are case, being short-sighted they're being short-sighted in in the case that somebody likes murdering uh, mm -hmm. it would be in their best interests to just be really yeah. really smart Murder as many people as possible and never get caught. What That's if, how they do that. What if there, there are glitches in the system? What if mm -hmm. murdering one person would bring me more happiness than the entire lifetime of things that would ever make me happy? Will, well, like, like you, even if I got shot right after killing somebody, I would be worth happier. It. it would be yeah, more worthwhile well, then, there, than having lived my whole no life. There is no logical argument I can make to say that you shouldn't do that, but I don't think that's very 
common. Likely. And, yeah. and of course, uh, like, it's, it's this mostly... person, well, and, and the other thing is, like, if this person should keep in mind that, like, okay, if everyone acted like this, society would collapse, and then, you know, other people wouldn't I, have the opportunities well, to do here's these the thing things. I, I doubt that. a murderer cares about Star Trek. Or Why? Star Trek. A murderer can still be logical. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. We're talking about a logical murderer who just understands this one thing about themselves. Well, here, here's the thing. Well, I, think, I, think, I think the fact that that can't happen is because people are too scared to assume that's what will happen. Like, if I kill this guy, I'll never be as happy as if I kill this guy. They don't know that, mm -hmm. that for sure, unless they're yeah. completely insane. And, like, you can't have a logical person decide to kill a person. That's not true. Because, like, because they don't know what's in the future. They may be like, well, it's probably, a, it's like a bad gamble. Well, I'm like, not going to well, take if, it. If, like, if I have a, a sister, and, like, she is getting, like, beaten <laughs> up terribly by, like, her boyfriend, and, like, she is, like, fully indoctrinated to think that, like, oh, no, it's all okay, but, like, she's getting her worse and worse hurt, and then, like, it, like, it seems like, like he's just going to end up killing her one day. Like, he's got a jail record, and she just will not leave him. There is a logical reason to just go and kill this man, to, like, to kill him, Whoa. to, like, save someone. There is a there is a reason to do that sort of thing. I don't thing. know about call it. A cop. Well, I mean, what, for whatever reason, she you won't press charges like it can't be done i'm, I'm talking about i'm illustrating yeah, well, a logical sure. argument the point here. is you you can construct a scenario where exactly murder that's is, my point. is reasonable correct correct I, i'm just saying someone whose pleasure is the inherent destruction of society by mm. removing society from being real because there are no more humans left by killing people so i don't think he's too concerned just but want to watch the world burn there are clap <laughs> emojis in between all those words everybody <laughs> okay. imagine that are, are we gonna us. are we gonna move on to questions now i've heard no, enough i was in the middle of a point <laughs> oh, and just it. memed all over me <laughs> go ahead I got him go okay, ahead <laughs> I, uh, I'm just saying, I don't think those people are too concerned about, like, the society ramifications. Like, if everyone did this, then there would be no more. I don't think then they, they are short-sighted. Then they are short-sighted. Because no one else is... Because that, first of all, that's not what is occurring. Nate, Nate, Nate's trying to argue about, like, what is and is not, like, the most, like, the most, like, consistent logical system. Mm -hmm. Not about, like what people should actually do or like what they yeah. what will actually yeah. like lead people to like yeah this people is not are totally yeah. logical i understand that I yeah understand that. Yeah. yeah nate's trying to argue for like in a perfect world everyone would think this shit through and come to a and come to like a well-reasoned well, conclusion right I, I, I guess so. in a perfect world everyone would do the macarena at all times the same time <laughs> in, in a perfect world, everyone do the, the, would do the carmen dance or however you spell it, the, the, the cosmillion dance so, da, da, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah it'd be like like a uh, half the the, the, you do the uh, Macarena, you do the Kamar dance, all right? Yeah, yeah. Dances. Uh, the, okay. the one where it's like you put your fucking hands up to your head and you do the caramel, fucking swing. Caramel is that dancing. The, is that caramel the cha-cha yeah. real yeah. smooth? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Oh, caramel uh, dancing. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm doing it right uh, now. I'm doing it right now, boy. I'll do it. All right. All right. I've heard enough big words and big concepts. Final verdicts on nihilism. Yeah. Anyone? It's a cool... It's, it's a cool true thing, dude. It's, yeah, it's, it's true, it's, except except for the ontological, true. except it's for the true. ontological, it, no, except for the ontological kind. All the other kinds are true. There you go. Uh, um, I would just say my it's, my, it's... my 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 mm -hmm. ending statement on nihilism is that uh, now that you've heard us talk about it, there's no reason to ever put it in the comment section. So don't comment. <laughs> uh, my opinion is hashtag real meatism. Join me in believing yeah. that the only thing that matters are the things that humans do. And I would say this wait, is important wait, to me. Wait, I'm a I'm a nihilist and a real meatist then. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there you go. I, yeah. I see. I, I don't uh, limit myself to just one box. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say <laughs> nihilism is true, but there is absolutely no reason you can't still be a humanist true. and get some of that hashtag weird utilitarianism going on in your life. So uh, don't yeah. be afraid. Don't I be agree. Afraid. With, okay. I agree with literally everybody in who, okay, <laughs> everything excellent. they just said. <laughs> Excellent. All right, uh, let's let's get to some questions. Yes, yeah. I got some. If you from want, our... if you want to get your question read, donate to PCP Patreon. You can go to the Patreon Lounge where the we Discord. talk to all of the our Discord. bestest fans. Uh, yeah, the, the Discord. Oh, L. It's a Discord chat. It, it, yes. It's not a lounge. It's not actually the chairs. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, not yet, at least until we set everything up. We... And uh, <laughs> oh, and also, uh, yeah, there's we read less of these these days. But you can also, on the off chance, submit one to uh, the Twitter using hashtag yeah. ask. Yeah, poor and let's bitch. just get let's get our designated <laughs> poor question out of the way from the yeah. Twitter. Uh, here's our in, at Infinity Rise One asks: How do you find a motivation to live if the goal that keeps you going seems impossible? 
keep find a better find a better goal. Find a better goal. That's tough. One. Yeah. That's tough to do. Change, like if, change if the it goal seems to be uh, actually easy. Impossible. Does it? Get, get yeah. Does goal. it seem impossible or is it impossible? Yeah. Because if it just seems, seems impossible. impossible, but it is possible, don't stop. Yeah. If yeah. it he, is he, actually he, impossible, he, then give up. <laughs> Im- imagine, Im- yeah. imagine that, like, like the the thing is like a little like a bouncy toy in front of you, and then like get your magnifying glass and like look at the individual atoms of it, and then pick apart all the atoms one at a time, and slowly after like a billion years, you will have all the atoms of that squeaky toy conquered. I, I think what Munch is saying is, is like if it seems impossible, break it down, break into, it down small into the small tasks. components and yeah, ta- yeah exactly, and tackle them if one I by one. I said it in a funnier way, and I'm God, basically. <laughs> I mean, great. like, That's like great. if you if you want to become like. A beautiful thespian, world renowned, mm-hmm. like then, like Kevin Spacey, my hero. <laughs> yeah, it, then, then you know, it might seem impossible, but if you really bust your balls and do nothing but work towards it for twenty years, maybe you'll get there. Might need some you, surgery you, if you're ugly. You, you yeah. might, yeah. you might need you might all not, kinds of shit. Well, yeah, I would say pragmatic. that if your if your goal is to be like literally Kevin Spacey, then like yeah. you might never get there. But exactly. if you, just, you, need, you if you, if you, you come around up, some fourteen year old boys right now, <laughs> if, get if, to but work, if you come yeah, up, but work. Work. if you make a better goal, that's like oh I want to yeah. like you know do the the kind of things that my hero Kevin Spacey does. Then like you right. can start right. working towards that, and that's achievable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But Study if your lives, or if your do. goal is like I want to become rich and famous by the time I'm twenty five, it's like well make a fucking plan, bitch. Aim yeah. aim for the moon, because even if you miss, you're gonna fall to the ground dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Um, uh, maybe from the Patreon. Discord, I was about to ask Maybe's question. God damn it! Oh, Fine, shit. do it, fucking punk ass <laughs> bitch. I, it's on, I already have. I have a list. I wrote down the good ones. I right, copy okay, pasted okay. them. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Uh, well, anyway, Maybe asks: Are you the type of person who can separate the actions of an artist from their art itself, or does the artist's personal life influence how you like their art? Uh, the first it, it, one. It, it depends. It um, depends. You know, I, I wish mm. I could separate it completely, but I really can't. I know yeah, this is about myself. I think that when I, I think that I used to be able to separate it more, but as I've come, like I've I've come to, I guess I've come to feel that like art is just is really just an extension of a person, and so yeah. like yeah, it, it, well, I, I don't I, think I really can anymore, unfortunately. Like it, I can it, still it, appreciate it, things, but like I can't. I no, yeah. I, I can't fully separate. I, well, like, like in the in, in the one sense, um, I I would like I, I like the idea of just like enjoying art. Like, oh, uh, did you know that uh, that uh, song you like was written by a pedophile? Like, well, I don't yeah, care. Yeah. It's a good song. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. I will like if there's a horrible person that has made a thing, I will do a little bit. Like, I will I still want to to experience it because I like the thing. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'll pirate it. I won't pay yeah. the money for that thing. Like, I'm not gonna stop that. pirating Hitler artwork. You know, yeah. like I really I decorate my abode you know, with it exclusively. I, but it's not about Hitler. It's I would about say, the I, yeah, this isn't a Nazi thing. What the fuck? Yeah, Leave me alone. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. I would say I don't. I can't necessarily separate them. Um, but. Like, I will still enjoy and consume art by terrible people if I think the art is good. The yeah, only sure. time yeah. that I won't is if it has to do with me personally. Because I'm in the kind of position where I've gotten into fights with a lot of artists and had mm, people mm. say things such as uh, a certain My Little Pony musician who I was a really <laughs> right, big fan of right. for a time yeah. who said, uh, don't listen to my music ever again and anyone Jesus who associates Christ. with Digibro, don't talk to me. So this artist who I was a really big fan of, I cannot listen to. Even though it's been a long You're time now and You're now pretty. if I hear the songs, I'm like, all right, you know, I still appreciate why I liked this back then. I, I probably wouldn't even get into it if I discovered it now, you know? But, sure, like, sure. there's a few artists like that. And and even on a lesser scale, like, one that was uh, kind of a weird case is the rapper Milo, who, mm-hmm. uh, it's not that he did anything to me personally, but oh, he has right, a I real problem with white people saying nigga, and, like, he's, like, always on about it. And I'm like, uh, you know, that, that you're basically t- talking to me. You know, like he'll 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 talk he about how he doesn't have a problem taking like white people's money though when they buy his albums. Yeah, you know? well, he'll like, complain uh, about like white people saying it at his shows and stuff, and I'm like, dude, you're saying yeah, it on your know, fucking man. album. How can we not say it at your shows? You know, like uh, he shouldn't. If that's the case, I think it would be more logically consistent to be like not okay with them even listening to the music because like it's not for yeah. them in his mind. It's like you know for I don't know his it's people weird. or whatever. 
I, yeah, I don't the way like I look at it is like that. there's no like if I like the person who's making it, then I don't like the art. There's the, like and or you know vice versa. It's just sort of like a modifier that I put on my enjoyment of the art itself. Like if I consume like a comic and it's like a good thing that I like, but it's made by a bad person, that's not like an instant. Well, I don't like it anymore. It's yeah. just like a like a like a debuff. Well, and like, also like, like t- minus twenty yeah. five. Sometimes enjoyment. sometimes mm. I actually think the art can be enhanced by them being a bad person. Like <laughs> I I, th- uh, I think so too. Very famously, well, the, the... like Control Alt Delete, my favorite webcomic. <laughs> well, there's yeah, there's sure. this black metal band called Burzum, which is just a one man band. This guy Varg Vickerns, who in the early nineties uh, murdered the lead singer of another black metal band, Mayhem. Ooh. Um, nice. Um, okay. Over a financial dispute, he stabbed okay. him thirty-seven times and pushed him through a glass door. That's and pretty he was, bell- blackmail right yeah, there. All he right. was in prison for like fifteen years in yeah. uh, in yeah. uh, in Norway, and he's out now. But he's also like a hardcore um, nationalist, and he okay. he's currently okay. he is currently a daily vlogger. By the way, <laughs> just by the by, <laughs> this like forty-something year old. Uh, ex-con murderer, murderer yeah. black metal superstar a regular is Casey now Neistat. also a <laughs> daily vlogger who talks about like nationalism and pagan stuff and uh, pagan stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. So cool. and he lives in the middle of and shit. He lives like in the middle of nowhere in the woods, and he's like a huge Spurg lord. Um, and he's got all these kids, and he lives on like a farm. He's great. Like, in my opinion, the music <laughs> is enhanced because it's fucking black metal. So, like, right, I right. want it to be evil and abrasive and wrong, you know? Like, I want to know that the guy who recorded this killed a guy, you know? Mm-hmm. That makes it yeah. even better. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's why Nate wants all this Hitler art, all this all the all yeah. the Hitler paintings. Like it enhances the aesthetic experience. I mean, exactly. don't tell me that having a Hitler painting would like not be an amazing thing. To no, have. it would be so sick. That, that, it would be the sickest yeah. thing that's, ever. That's, that's literally why controversial things are really funny. Yeah. It's oh. Big, because it's bad. <laughs> funny, I, right? So I think I think for all of us, the I get a giggle is... every time I walk by my Hitler portrait. It's very <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> I, I think the answer for all of us is like generally yes, though it, it like like it's not that we separate it per se, but just that we can enjoy we can enjoy the content without necessarily you know, contributing the the artist. Though yeah. It, like it it plays a part in our enjoyment. I, I, or I don't mean to harp. On this. It just it, it doesn't decide it. I, I don't mean to harp on this, but like just just the Milo example that Digi brought up. Like I, I'm just thinking about that. Like is it like okay? So obviously that guy like has is is writing music for like a specific group of people. I like. But he's selling it to everybody. But, like, do you think if he could, he would only sell to black people or I, something? I mean, like, what's on the... some level, I think that might be the case because he has made, like, yeah. really exclusive tapes and stuff like that. Um, uh-huh. But, I mean, I don't think it's that – I think a lot of it is more that he's expressing that sentiment, not that it's, like, an absolute in his life. But okay. he does express, okay. like, the sentiment in the lyrics of his songs. And sometimes it can feel like an attack on me. Yeah, I, I just to I can't get to behind me, that at all. You know? That logic, I just don't follow uh, it. There's this one uh, thing that I, I, I is like kind of relevant to this is um there's this TV show called The Great British Bake Off where people bake as a competition. <laughs> do, do, they get, do they get baked as fuck, dude? Yeah. Troll alone. All right. There's this is show, and um it it's great and the whole nation loves it. It used to be mm-hmm. on BBC, and then the runners of the show asked the BBC for more money because it was raking in the views, mm-hmm. and the BBC said, uh, no. Okay. So they left. They just said, fuck you, we're mm-hmm. going to Channel 4 instead. And uh, people, there was like, like a Channel big Channel 420, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. You can't talk. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You, you quite finished? <laughs> I'm finished for now. <laughs> okay. It went to Channel 4, and there was, like, a big hubbub about, like, some of the presenters left and some of them stayed. Mm-hmm. And the show was great. It's still, like, exactly the same show, and it's I love it. But um, people were like, oh, I don't know whether I could, I could, you know, betray the BBC and the presenters okay. that mm-hmm. I know and love mm-hmm. to go and watch the same show <laughs> just on a different channel. Like, there was a... Uh, everyone was talking about it, and I just sure. didn't get... Like, and it's kind of the same sort of thing, like... The, or the artist in this case is the, the producer of the show. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. they said, oh, he did a bad thing. He left the BBC, and and, and it's like I don't know. It's yeah, it's the same, same thing. 
That's too much. It's kind a of. lot of brand loyalism tied up in that. Like exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's weird. Which is some bullshit. Brand loyalism is the same as this one. I, I don't even care if any of us try to answer this. I just want to read this because it's so badly okay. written. It made me laugh. <laughs> I think it's just a an honest mistake. But uh, Hod Todd says. What's a sandwich sandwich slash restaurant if you have one? <laughs> uh, they got they got like good good Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. I, Sub I, Jared Jared at Subway. He's my man. Yeah right. Oh <laughs> sandwich sandwich. Oh boy. If you uh, have whoa one. a sandwich yeah, sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Picturing a, a, just a, a, a lots of little sandwiches between two pieces of bread and you're just biting into that motherfucker. Uh, all right, um, <laughs> real question. Um, this one I'm interested in because um, I think it could be different for everybody in here. Mm. Um, Plastic Gargoyle uh, asks, do you guys right. often experience people acting as though they're good friends with you based on their consumption of your content? And uh, what is your view on people treating consumption of a creator's content as a sort of analog for interacting with them? Well, uh, I'll just jump in and say that, like, I started, uh, me and Jackie started a Discord not that long ago, and it really mm -hmm. took off, and it's, like, really, really active, and uh, I don't, I don't, I didn't, I mean, people would send me tweets and stuff before, you know, being, like, nice to me, and I'd be nice to them, but, like, it, mm -hmm. it was not, like, friendship per se, I don't know, but, like, I actually have become, like, pretty good friends with a bunch of, like, these people in there, so, uh, But would you say that uh, was based nice. on the consumption of, like... Like, there's a difference to me, because I have the same thing. I also have a really active Discord now um, for my Patreon. And, like, when those people talk to me, like, we're... I don't know. They don't really act like we're all friends. But, like, it's okay for me, to me, for them to, like, joke around, because we have been talking. Like, I know who they are, you know? Yeah. There has it's, been I, in the I, past I, times where people have come and been, like... Like, not not really a whole lot. This isn't like a common occurrence, but there have been times where people were like buddy buddy with me, who I just don't know who they are, you know. And I'm like, uh, do you? Why? Are, like, this happened a lot of BronyCon, when people used to follow yeah. us around and yeah. stuff and be like yeah. real extra friendly when we were like, I literally uh. do not know who you are, you know. Um, yeah, but st stuff like that sucks. But like, I th I think really like when it comes to like just talking on like on a Discord. It's basically the same as meeting new people, except them knowing your channel is just the icebreaker, and yeah. you don't have to do any of it that. It is a great icebreaker, and I, I will say, in spite of how I just made that sound, at conventions, um, I don't mind so much when people come up and like know a lot about me, because I'm not surprised, because in many ways... It is pretty close to knowing me. Like, follow, I put out so much content and, like, express Indeed. so Indeed. much of my life that, like, the amount you... I mean, yeah, there's tons and tons of my life that you don't see in the videos, but a lot of that life is reported on in the videos, you know? So, like, mm -hmm. if someone came up to me and they were, like, up to date on what's going on with me, that wouldn't surprise me or be weird. I'd just be like, oh, yeah, of course, you know? Um, I usually have a pretty easy time jumping into <coughs> in-depth conversations with my fans at cons at first meeting. Like, people I've never heard of, but if they come up and they're like, oh, I watch all your content, then we can just dive right into conversation, the, you know? The, the, the worst thing, I mean, I don't want to shit on anyone, as so, you know, but th this just does happen, is that, um, th you know, people come up to you and say, hey, I really like your stuff, or like, uh, in any situation, online or, or off, and you say, oh, thanks, and then they sort of like feel like there's a rapport going there's like a conversation yeah. and they expect you to continue the conversation oh when yeah that used to oh, happen a lot more to me yeah. kills me uh. I, uh, I, I still, like, I've got a couple of discords that I run and I will get messages or like friend requests from individual people and uh, most people, you know, I, actually, to, to be fair like most people just know that like they shouldn't do that. This is actually yeah. pretty rare. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, just, like, I'm shocked how yeah. few friend requests I've gotten from <clears throat> yeah. my Discord, but I deny them all, of course. Of course, I, I I've, always got, like, I've got like hundreds of people in there, and I've only gotten like three or four friend requests. I know. I, I'm like, Did, I, I scroll this I, back. I, right I accept now. that shit. I accept that shit, man. Dude, uh, but you whatever. Don't know anything about these people? And like, yeah, I do. Yeah. These are people that I've like talked to. Okay, I mean, well, some of them in, in I case, would accept the request not. from if they sent it, but they haven't. But like, like you know. okay, I'm looking. I'm looking at. I, I got a message right here that I'm just looking. I'm not. I'm not going to read it out loud because it, it, it's it's a tiny bit personal. I mean, so I'm. I don't know, I'm just not going to. But like, I don't know who the fuck this person is, and this person is like wanting me to like give them my time. Like, hey, let's talk. Oh, who if the you, fuck are you? If you're talking about that, I get that literally every day. 
Uh, of course. And I don't ever respond to them. But I don't know if yeah, that's the same thing as acting like my even, friend. Like, okay. It's more like they're it requesting is... to be my friend. All right, stick you know, stick with me here. But I, I consider annoying. this a form of violence. All right? This yeah. is a form of <laughs> yeah. violence. You are it attacking is. me with a conversation, and you are. There, I, there's no way I cannot waste a little bit of my time on yeah. dealing with this. You are stealing my time for me. Even Get if it's just reading out. it. I yeah, mean, I, 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 this is not a serious. I'm not seriously accusing yeah. anybody of this. It's just a meme, but uh, well, still, I, like, it's, I, yeah, th that goes a little like what this guy's asking about is more like um, acting like they're already your friend. But that the idea of like asking to be my friend that yeah. happens all the time, and sometimes the phrasing of it is super bizarre because it seems to assume on their part that I would be interested in them in some way. Like one I got recently, and apologies if this guy happens to be listening, but it was mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. strange. He said, like, what if we met up sometime? He was like, hey, I, I live in, like, <laughs> a relatively near area. What if we met up sometime to see if we, like, are as similar as I think we are or something okay. like that? And I'm like, right. why would I want that? Like, who would ever <laughs> want to hang out with someone similar to Digibro? That's just... <laughs> like, I, I mean, I just... I Why do... Like, I'm not out in the market for, uh, like, new friends right now. Like, it's not something I'm, like... Like, the idea that somebody might is. be similar oh, to me... is. Oh, Digi, so fuck what you want. So like, fuck uh, what you want. I, I've got... I, I, the I reason I have... it's just, like, a misunderstanding of, like, what m becoming a friend with someone is. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have a Discord, too. I think we all have Discords. Yeah. But uh, it, it, um, on my point. Discord, it feels more like that I am just one of the other people in the Discord, and, like, people post things yeah. and talk about things, and then I comment on them, and I, like, yeah. say silly things, they say silly things. It's just sort of like... I we're, we're, I'm a community with my community, and that's like yeah. the best situation. That's, I'm not like a figurehead necessarily. Right. I, I am I am both a figurehead and that in mine, like because I there, I have a whole channel of just discussing my content, and my content comes out all the time. And there's mm. definitely a level of deference towards me in there. But like to me, the reason I have a big audience is that there's plenty of people like me. You know, like, there's plenty of people who are similar mm -hmm. enough to me mm -hmm. that we can have a conversation. So let's have a conversation here, online. That's what the internet's for. You meet people who are kind of like you and you have some conversations. Like, not every person who's anything like me is going to make me be like, oh, well, we got to be best friends. Uh, yeah, and then, know? like, miraculously, if you end up talking to someone and you just, like, are clicking and it's just, like, then, like, okay, you know what? We're, we're yeah. hooking up. Let's let's do something on our own. But, like, I mean, that was us, with that, basically. That's exactly what we yeah. are. That, that's correct. That's Greg, so see, that's that's how it happens. It's, it's got to be a natural thing, guys. Don't don't fucking friend me if we have not had a conversation. Just M don't do it. Munchie, did you have any uh, you wanted to read out of this chat before I get to? I only have one more, but it's uh, only. Uh, I don't know. Most All right, of I'll, these are just like I'll do one. Just more. fucking whatever. Munchie, do you real real <laughs> quick just want to like delete yourself from the PCP real yeah. quick? Just like... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just go ahead and yeah, okay. remove myself from all future endeavors. I'm just gonna Leon Trotsky myself and fucking remove myself from all. <laughs> so so all, all the podcasts, I'm just gonna delete them all. They're all Thank gonna be you. gone. And just I'm put a, just put a high pitched whine over all of your speech seconds in uh, in all the PCP yeah, yeah. so far. Okay, thank it'll, you. It'll be it'll be like Marble Hornets, like Slender Man, like. <laughs> <laughs> like 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 Slender Man is near you. You'll get sickness. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds yeah. good. We should make. A, let's literally make a channel that's called PCP minus Munchie, where we do that. We just upload all the content over. <laughs> there again there are people that. who would like be really thankful for that. <laughs> and I fucking and I fucking I think that they people. should they should all get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it, 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 it should, it, we should make a, a channel called Just Munchie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We should make a channel that's the like PCP plus Marble Hornets, where we just all we, it just is Marble Hornets, but all of us are the Dude, different characters. We should make and a I show. We should make a show where Munchie just literally bitches about My Little Pony content creators for like dozens <laughs> oh of god! hours. Oh my god! Can you imagine? <laughs> we should okay. just make a show where we read our, uh, Homestuck week <laughs> by week and then go through it weekly. Munchie, don't you ever about. fucking say idea. that again, Munchie? Do not even <laughs> speak of such an idea. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right. Here's Let's one that question. I'm just going to answer really fast. Okay. Uh, Happy D asks, does slash will the PCP have a cap on the number of members? Yes, the cap is the current number, and it will never exceed this number again. <laughs> ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There is uh, uh, no uh, uh, reason it should or will ever happen. No, you know, honestly, and therefore, unless it's really not. festive. Unless it's really, really festive, like the Milo <laughs> yeah. Unless it's like oh, real oh, it's like, a, it's like a, you know, in an RPGs, how you get like temporary party members who join just for yeah. like a specific dungeon or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe a little 
like that. Yeah, there might be some guests, the, but there's yeah, no. But the, there's, well, there the, never the, will be the, another core member of the PCP again. It's oh, not oh, happening. The, num- oh, the number is going. The number is only going down from here, guys. Yeah, we're, 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 we're I, cutting corners. I'm going to replace myself like, with Father Christmas. <laughs> I thought that meant like what, how many people are on each podcast, like the limit to what they can record. But I have no idea oh, why no. we meant that. That no, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah, already uh, the case. No we, more. We, uh, okay. It, no. It, like, it, it, okay. Th- just theoretically, it's possible. But just imagine the gauntlet that the next person who's yeah. like a viable candidate to oh, join will have to go oh through. Like, the years. Well, the it will years have to of be, training. The yeah, only yeah, way yeah. another person's going to join is if it is a case like Munchie, where exactly, literally exactly. all of us have known and been friends with them for like three years. And he had mm-hmm. to prove him his worth, you know? Like, it had yeah, to be that Yeah, and Investigator level. was everything I hoped it would be. It's amazing. <laughs> it changed so the game. He proved, he, he, he proved his worth with the, uh, with the, um, with the lecture. The lecture? The, the Parkour yeah, 291 did. lecture. There's I'd no say. doubt. There's no doubt. All right, doubt. one yeah. last question. Uh, no okay. Digit asks, how would you optimize the PCP? Uh, Delete Munchie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> End it. Yeah, end the, the, P, the yeah. PCP is a is a is a chaotic blip in the system. The optimizing it would mean smoothing out the whole thing, oh, like, no. like smoothing out the wrinkles on the brain. You know, exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we don't want to be optimized. We'll be deleted. We will yeah. be removed. Mm-hmm. I mean, I uh, think excellent. I think if I was going to optimize the PCP, obviously get everybody in one place, which is mm-hmm. what we already mm-hmm. want to do. Um, and Lock them in a room. And never just eat the key. I think it would be. I think it would be easier for us to if if we wanted to talk about like more topical stuff on the PCP. It would be easier mm. if we could all consume it together. You know, that's true. Like if we all lived in one place, it'd be easy enough for us to all like go see a movie that just came out and then do a PCP on it right afterwards. I mean, like that what would they be do on Red Letter sick. Media. That would be you pretty know? sick. Yeah. Imagine imagine the reputation that our gang would acquire at the local <laughs> cinemaplex as we bomb in every oh Saturday god, night. Oh go my god, it's the, 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 the PCB bo- PCB boys are rolling through again. Everybody fucking put your put your parkas on. There's about to be a we, jizz yeah. hurricane. We, 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 we would be ruffians. We I, would be ruffians. I tell you, we would combine I, our strength. I think we are at we are at a we are um we're at a point where we're probably like Five or six months out from PCP yeah. headquarters starting to become a thing. It's getting there. Um, yeah. we're, we're, we're getting close. And I think it's perfect timing because we can only stretch random ass weird esoteric concepts <laughs> so far. Like, as you saw <laughs> I don't this agree episode, with that. <laughs> nihilism, like, this is a weird topic and you can only do so many nihilism podcasts you can only have so I many. Don't agree with you that can only have so yeah, many podcasts can, that spiral straight forever. to weird utilitarianism immediately well, yeah. and go there. All forever. roads lead back yeah. to weird utilitarianism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. clear. This like is I mean, clear. I've, I, sh- I think it's that's the been rock upon which the PCP rests. Like from Indeed. the beginning of the PCP, I think we've been saying like we need to have more specific media casts, but there's nothing that all of us consume like guaranteed. I mean, every enough, once in a while, you know? the the Rick's Minutes will pop up, or right. you know, or like Dark Souls Three, and it's like thing on this channel. It's even worse than Armor. It's like minutes? by far. Armor Chief was, well, Rick's only minutes was like Armor significantly Chief. more popular than what? the PCP for its time, which was interesting. But Armor Chief has been out forever, bro. No, it's there's only there's only one episodes. episode on this channel. Is what I was. Saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 right, right. The yeah, special. Right. <laughs> well, oh, I just want to read out this real quick. This is, this is just for me. No one else can answer. Okay. Extra Ferris says, if you could insert yourself into a movie as a protagonist, what would that movie be and why? Uh, Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> But why? <laughs> As and all why? the Germans. Yeah. Only the Germans. All of yeah. my is the, is the protagonist that guy who played Voldemort, who was the leader of the Nazi camp? Is that the protagonist? That's yeah. who I always empathize yeah. with. I, I, it's I, really <laughs> sad that he lost. At the end. I actually want to ask this question because I don't. I don't think this is a good question, but I could be wrong. Because okay. either this guy's a weirdo, or uh, <laughs> there's more weirdos out there. Uh, Pondidator mm-hmm. two asks, "How often do you think about speed running while you're playing a game?" For me, it's pretty much constantly to the point that I mm. almost can't think about games in other ways. Well, that's oh fun. God. Yeah, that I feel sorry for. Uh, you. Well, hang on. Is he talking I, like? Is this the first time you play through a game, or like? I after mean, that? I, I will that... say that occasionally when I'm playing a game, if I see something that looks like. Like something a speedrunner would use, I would say like, oh, that's obviously the speedrun tech. Like maybe yeah. once in a blue sure, moon right. that sure. happens. It, yeah, it'll uh, occur. I, 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 
like every so often I I think of a game and I'm like, wait, have I seen a speed run of that game? And that you know that, yeah. but that's like months or years after I played it. I don't think about it at the time. In the the fact that I am in the I I'm in the midst of people who like speedrunning more than they like esports genuinely sickens me. And ever since the esports <laughs> wait, shows, I've never been able to forgive any of you. <laughs> Esports. I, that's I, my I, like, opinion I don't. Subject. I don't know that I like speedrunning more than esports. Esports is just a lot harder to get into and follow. I like speedrunning. Like more. a speedrun, speed you just stick. throw on a YouTube video. Uh, esports, you have to like watch cool ass matches, bro. Where wh- I don't even know price, where though. one matches watches a match of esports. Like you fucking you Twitch, Google Twitch. it. You ever heard <laughs> of like, how, do how do I know what <laughs> matches are interesting or good? You, you gotta you got research. My what friends have been you seriously watch? into serious Munch? competitive uh, like professional. You fucking watch melee any day of your life just okay I, I, melee I, I, to I, melee I know, top 10 i know tournament. melee i know melee esports uh the last one i remember though is uh hungry box beating armada with jigglypuff and after that i felt like melee is over now like we've done all we that, needed that, to that is true that was all i wanted to happen and it happened yeah. and now melee is over <laughs> My friends, back to since college, have been into the uh, competitive League of Legends scene, just like following the the you know the the, the paths of people. Disgusting. And I, oh, no, I have I, I have never understood the, the appeal. I have not once understood. Oh, well, I, I, I get the appeal. I'm just not interested. So, yeah. yeah, leg of leg. Leg I, of leg. I watched. Oh. Uh, there was a brief period where I was subscribed to Thorin. The guy mm. who's uh who's who's like an esports commentator guy, okay. not a okay. commentator, but like he he makes videos about esports and all of his like broad concept videos explaining why esports are interesting were really cool and good. Sure. But then he uh, would like have like a video a day about actual esports and like uh, right, right. they're all written in such a way that you need to know an incredible amount of information to get in. You know, like it's oh it, fucking. Uh, sorry, I was interrupting. Yeah. No, it's just like Continue. I, I don't even know the rules of the games that are being talked about enough to right, like, right. like much less the meta or the tech or the people. You know, like I'd have to, like the only reason I know Smash uh, Melee is because I watched that fucking four hour documentary about it, and even that oh, is considered is, like awesome. entry level. You know, it well sure it's entry level, but it's cool. Yeah. A hey, uh, uh, fucking Sal TV, a TF2 commentator esports yeah. guy. I love yeah. that shit. I love esports. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Uh, Germa. Uh, on, the, on this guy's <laughs> question of like, thinking, well, right. <laughs> uh, on the guy's question of, of speedrunning, uh, uh, like, I'm, I'm playing a lot right now of a uh, of world renowned game uh, for the Nintendo Switch Mario Odyssey that literally everyone agrees is a beautiful masterpiece with no uh, attractive flaws <laughs> and, uh, of any kind. Uh, and uh, I, I do, like, I'm always playing that game to, like, optimize speed, and I have actually researched, like, the optimal ways to place for, like, maximum height on jumps to, like, get to secret places and stuff. And, like, there's a lot of races to do in the game. So, like, I sort of think I know what he's talking about, but I I don't know. It sounds like the he's taking it to a higher I level. I know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. are Italians. <laughs> I just think it's weird that he would ask that question. Like, clearly he's a speedrun guy. Like, yeah, clearly sure. he has a deep interest in speedruns, so he thinks that way. Why would he expect anybody who doesn't speedrun constantly to think that way? And yeah, he I, knows I don't none of like us this. are speedrunners if like he this. watches the PCP. Well, we have done the races, which is more than most people have done. Yeah, but runs, like, you know? in all of those, we make it very clear that this was like a, an <laughs> intensively researched project for this one video, you know? Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. I don't think any oh, of us well, has ever given the impression that we are speedrunners. Oh, so, someone asked me a question directly. They even added me. Don't okay. do that, but thank you. And I, <laughs> I just have to do this out of the kindness of my heart. How many hats can you fit in your head? Depends on depends on their size. And it, depends it's on the size of Munchie's head that day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many hats have you had on your head at once? And I have uh, put four on my like actual hats. I, I have Not put legitimately. Well, wait. <laughs> What, uh, wait, what's a fuck? What's a cap? What's it? What, what does that what? mean? I didn't say cap. I, I said oh, joke hat. Oh, 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 I have six. I've had six hats on my head. Well, now, hang on. Are you like stacking them on top of each other? Because that's easy. Yes. Yes. I'm talking about like next to each other on your head, like Whoa. to create a full half sphere. Then, on the then, top then, of your then, head. Can you get more than it, two? I, Maybe I don't I, know. I've 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 done three and they've all been real tiny if, hats. If they're tiny hats, you can do it yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I've That's... done three. And and he has he's with them. He's with he's, tiny he's hats with all, all, right. all time. All right. That, that's in. It's enough. Right at that. <laughs> okay. At that uh, all right. Uh, oh, by the way. Okay. Thanks for listening, everybody. Let's plug our shit. 
Please that was the most go. Sensual enough. I've heard on the show. Enough. Yeah, I didn't even. I like. I meant to just do it like like Bunchy, only quieter. But uh, okay. In any case, I seduced the. I apologize for seducing the entire audience. Forgive me. The, hold on, and hold on, Nate. This this is a great question. Close okay. off. Do like oh, by Ferguson okay. in, in the Patreon uh, chat. Do you think the PCP is too niche to uh, get a sizable following? Uh, no. Uh, we just need more people to donate to our Patreon. That's the only. Uh, that's yeah. the only following that we need to have that's grow. Correct. So that's please correct. do that. Please. Uh, Head on donate. over to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Yeah. People, we've got bonus episodes. There's a total of eight out right now at this moment. You pledge $5, you're instantly able to access all of them. Latest one is about alcohol. Previous one was about ASMR, and it's very mm-hmm. sensual. You're going to want to listen to that whole thing at maximum and, and the game. next one. The next one's gonna be fucking out of this world. It's gonna be oh. uh, it's gonna be a doozy. So brace your your anal yeah. prolapse for imminent destruction. Mm. So it's Wait, gonna be good. The, uh, what's the next one gonna be? Uh, do you want? Do you want? Do you want no, to let's not spoil it yet. Let's not okay. spoil it yet. Oh, okay. Gotta, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing. Stay it. tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, and uh, right, uh, yes. uh, follow us at TP Crastinators on the Twitter for updates and whatnot. And you can hashtag Ask PCPS questions. But you're better off going to again. Uh, 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 Patreon uh, Patreon.com slash the procrastinators pledging even as little as one dollar and you're in the patron yeah. lounge when we ask those questions. That's where we read most of them these days. Um, what else am I missing? We got oh we got new shirts. We got stickers, people, with little chibi versions of all the I, PCP I, the lads. Stickers are great. The stickers, the stickers are, are legitimately great. I need to order a pack. And we got shirts, PCP stuff. Yeah. There will be more merch we, we coming. Got all the shit you could possibly need. Everything you could want. Who's is, got is in the child abuse below. going on in the background of their house? It's that, gotta that, be that doesn't matter. That it's doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Child abuse doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, nihilism doesn't matter. Yeah, Child it doesn't abuse. matter. There <laughs> it is. Oh, we tied it all up in a bow. Uh, uh, I think that's right. everything. Thank you for listening, everybody, and we will see you next week. I gotta put someone back in their place. Bye. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to.